my name is Amy and I'm a librarian at the Western Branch of the St. Joseph County Public Library. Today, we're going to be doing a science experiment that's going to talk about potential energy and kinetic energy. So potential energy is energy stored in an object that has been acted upon by some external force. Kinetic energy is the energy an object has when it's moving. So here we have a rubber band. If we want to, we can use the external force of our hand to stretch it out and create potential energy. And the rubber band really wants to go back to its original shape. So if we remove the external force, it has enough kinetic energy to go flying across the room. So we're going to do something really similar by moving this Lego car with a balloon. When we blow up the balloon, we'll create some potential energy. When we let the balloon go while it's attached to the car, it really wants to get back to that original shape and we've removed the force, so it'll have enough kinetic energy to move the car forward. Let's get started. There's a few things to keep in mind when you're building your car. The first one is function over form. If your car looks really cool, but it doesn't actually go, that's not going to work for this experiment. This is the first car that I built today, and I think it looks pretty cool, but the legs really aren't secure, so that wouldn't work. The second thing to keep in mind is how you're going to attach your balloon. You want to have it secure with enough space to expand, that way you can get the most potential energy into your product. If the attachment for your balloon is too big, the balloon's gonna fly right off. If it's too small, not enough air is gonna be able to come out when you let it go. Lastly, the opening of the balloon should face towards the back of your car, not the front. So I'm sure at this point you are tired of hearing about COVID-19, but we do want to make sure we can do this experiment safely. Since it does involve using our breath to blow up a balloon, we want to make sure that we do it either when we're not around other people, or when we are, that we're at least six feet apart. We also want to make sure that we're responsible for our balloon. Don't blow your balloon up unless you're about to attach it to your car. If you leave your balloon somewhere, make sure you know where it is and that nobody else is going to grab it. Don't share balloons. So please be safe and have fun. So once you have your car built, you can do a test run. Find a flat surface to place your car on, blow up your balloon, attach it to your car, and let it go. When we blow up the balloon, that's how we're getting that potential energy stored. When your car is lined up how you want it, let your balloon go. When we let the balloon go, it wants to revert back to its original shape, so it forces the air out, releasing the potential energy and creating kinetic energy that will move the car forward. After you do your first test run, do remember that this experiment is trial and error. Maybe your car didn't go very far or it didn't go at all. So think about what you can do differently next time to help your car move. Maybe it was too wide or too narrow. Maybe it was too tall or too short. Maybe it had too many extra pieces weighing it down. Do something different and see if you can get your car to move more efficiently next time. So you may have noticed that your car does stop. It doesn't go forever. Let's talk about why that is. There's other energies acting upon our car all the time. When it moves forward, it has to go through the air around us. Even if we can't feel the particles in the air, they're still there. Secondly, gravity is always acting on pretty much everything on Earth all the time. So gravity is gonna be pulling down on our car, causing it to slow down. Our car does have a weight that creates some resistance. I drove my car on a carpeted floor. That probably wasn't great for the tires. It might have gone faster on a smooth surface. So there's a lot of things happening that can cause our car to slow down. But as long as the kinetic energy that we've created here from our balloon is stronger than all of those other things, our car will move forward. 